A nuclear holocaust is a thought that has terrified people since Robert Oppenheimer's Trinity test in New Mexico. At the height of the Cold War, which was US versus Russia in a nuclear pissing contest, governments invested in nuclear bunkers in case of an attack, and that's exactly what's right behind me here in the West End neighborhood of New Orleans. In 1950, the Louisiana legislature created the Civil Defense Agency and authorized each community to establish a local organization for civil defense. In 1952, the Office of Civil Defense in New Orleans was commissioned to prepare for, coordinate, and carry out all emergency measures necessary to minimize injury and damage resulting from disasters caused by enemy attacks, fire, flood, earthquakes, or other natural causes. They maintained an active program to instruct citizens on how procedures will follow in the case of a nuclear attack. Fallout shelters were designated throughout the city, including in the main library, where fallout shelters can still be seen today. The city installed an elaborate warning system of 76 large sirens, and this bunker particularly served as a fully equipped command center where officials could direct rescue operations following an attack. The importance of the shipping industry in New Orleans made her a target for destruction if the U.S. ever went to war with Russia not to mention the close proximity to Cuba during the Cuban Missile Crisis. This bunker was a prototype for the entire country, and it's just a quick five-ish minute drive from City Hall via the Pontchartrain Expressway, and an easy trip underground in a city that is well below sea level. It eventually went into disrepair and flooded over time, but it's still here, in the neutral ground, abandoned and forgotten. Seems like a good enough time to open this bad boy up, maybe expand it, see what's in there, you know, for just knowledge, escape the fallout, and follow us at Louisiana Dread.